friends welcome to this video in this video we will see the appearance part from the administration menu so let's see all the topics which and all will be covering in this video so as i have told we'll be discussing on the appearance part from the administration menu we will see the topics like how to install the theme in our drupal 10 version we will see how to enable the installed theme and how to disable the installed theme and we'll see how to set the only administration theme and we'll see on the appearance setting part so let's see all these topics one by one so just let's open the drupal site for this so localhost slash drupal website so here you can see this is already logged in by the admin username so let me explain this appearance part here so just click on this appearance so after clicking on it you will get the interface something like this uh, here we can see that one button is existing so called as add new theme so by just using this button we can add a theme that I will just explain uh, later so before that here you can see the install theme section is there so under this section two uh, themes were existing one is the olivero and the second one is a claro so olivero this is something a default theme which is set as a default with the drupal core installation if we want we can just make a different theme as well we can set this as a default as well the uh, claro theme by just clicking on this as set as default and in the uninstalled theme section one theme is existing that is a stack so this is not installed if we want we can install it and we can set as a default and here in the down you can see the administration theme part is existing so this administration theme is something where we can uh, by just uh, clicking by just selecting from the drop down we can enable this part only that not a whole theme just this admin panel is there right this black strip and white strip so that only we can just enable it so i will just show you this in detail with the demo as of now i'm just explaining the things we what and all we have under this appearance list section now the next is appearance update section so here it will just show the data like uh, what version of drupal we have installed it in our system and uh, apart from this what and all like uh, released a new versions like uh, this 10.0.3 has been released so this is kind of recommended version they are just showing to us so just next let's go to the settings part so here in the appearance setting part you can see the element which and all we want to display in the page that everything we have it here also user pictures in a post user pictures in a comments user verification status in comments shortcut icon and all and here you can see the logo image section so if i just go to my uh, site here there is no uh, kind of logo is being there so if we want we can just uh, uh, what they have told here use the logo supplied by the theme so here with this theme there is no logo available so if you want we can just include it by just uh, unchecking this box so i will just uncheck this and here it's asking the path like upload the logo image so i will just upload it from my system any of the logo and i will just save the configuration so before that let me explain this fave icon as well so this fave icon something is this one here you can see one icon in the tab uh, section right so this is something uh, this blue color icon is supplied by the theme if we don't want we can just unselect it and we can just provide uh, that image here by just selecting that file so as of now i'll just keep it as supplied by a theme and i'll just save the configuration so now you can see the status message is coming up here the configuration options have been saved so now i will just go to my site and i will just reload it so here you can see that logo is coming up here so like this we can just uh, manage the kind of logo changing or fave icon changing from this settings from the appearance settings now let's see how to add a, a theme so here i'm just coming from the appearance section in the list tab just click on this add new theme and here it's asking a url add from a url where exactly we want to add it or else we can just um, we can just add the file also we can upload a file here so for that just let me open a new window here and i will just type it as a drupal and theme and just open the first a theme project that which takes to a drupal.org site to us
Uh, and here this kind of download and extend uh, section will just open up here we can see uh, we can just apply a few filters to just find our particular theme so here i will just give as a works with so we are working with a drupal 10 version so i will just give that and i will search for it so here if you want we can give you some extra filter uh, options as well like search themes if you know some particular themes we can just provide it that one so i'll be just giving uh, that I am working with the Drupal 10 so re related to the Drupal 10 themes only I just wanted it so that I have given it here and I'll just search for it so once if I just search for it here you can see all the Drupal 10 version themes will be getting here bootstrap theme and this is again admin theme barrio bootstrap file theme And this is something adaptive theme, bootstrap. So whichever theme you find it a better, you can just uh, install that particular theme. So I'm just searching for the one good theme. So here something Vani is that this is a modern Drupal 8, 9, 10 it supports. So there are many more there. So as of now, I'll just in, uh, install this theme. So just click on it, whichever you like the theme so i will just click on it and here you can see the main features so it is a compatible to the 8 version 9 version 10 version it has a flex box based layout and uh, it's a fully responsive so this kind of all features you can find it out here and the next you just go to the version so right now i am using this 10 version so i'll just click on it And here you can see this uh, download tar.gz. So I'll just copy the link address of this and I will go back to my site. And here, uh, while adding a new theme, it's asking a URL. So I have just added that URL here and I will just click on the continue. So here you can see it's loading and this uh, Vani theme is just got installed and these files were added successfully. Now just let's go back to the appearance section and here you can see this Vani is being uh, just got downloaded in our uh, Drupal system. So here we can just install it and we can set as a default. So I will just install and set as a default. And just let me, so here you can see the status message. Please note that administration is still set it to Claro theme. Okay, that administration theme, we can just change it later. So that I will show you in a detail. So as of now, let's see our Drupal website, how it looks like for the new Vani Drupal theme. See, so this is how the th this themes that which we have just uh, installed and we have set it this for our website. So here we have created a two page that is about us and services page, uh, services page. So this is how exactly it's looking. So here for this region is something different. So here if you observe now that kind of breadcrumb is coming here and uh, the logo is here in this short uh, section. And this is a menu section, content section and in the footer section if you, you can just see this uh, copyright uh, term is given and here we have few social bar icons. So for all the themes the regions is something different so that you can just find it out just go to the structure and go to the block layout. And here you can find the demonstrate block regions for the particular theme which is being set as a default. So here you can see for this region is something different. So this is a header top left, this is a header top right, this is a site branding, primary menu, page header and this is the content part and it has a sidebar left and sidebar right. And this is a footer top and this is a footer bottom. And in here it is something that copyright section is available and this is something the social bar icons. So now let's see for this theme, the appearance setting, how it is. So I will just go to this appearance setting. So it's the same only, like there is no changes for here. Uh, this is a global setting actually. And if I just go to the Vani exactly there. So here you can see that logo image, wave icon we have. 
and here we have few extra theme setting as well which is related to our uh, vani theme so this is something general theme color we can just give it as according to our need and this is something a social icon so let me just show you that side first so here you can see right the facebook twitter instagram so here on the bottom you can see this icons facebook twitter instagram linkedin so here if we just click on it we can provide that specific url here facebook url twitter url instagram url so that everything can be handled from this uh, vani themes setting and the next is home page slider so the home page slider image also we can provide it and few content related footer related so here if we just come to the footer section some enable scroll to top feature so we can just enable that uh, scrolling part so that everything is been here and uh, we, you can see the website copyright text so here uh, this copyright text is there in a footer right if we just uncheck it that won't be visible so that also we can just save it i will just save the configuration and i will just show you here see that copyright uh, statement has just went away why because we have just unchecked it so that kind of thing also we can just do it so as of now i will just do it as early it was that copyright text i will just make it enable i'll save the configuration i will reload it so here you can see that copyright text is available so this kind of settings we can do it now the term comes is that about the administration uh, theme this thing so here we have only claro olivero and vani so right now claro is enabled so you can see the black strip and the white strip is available so now what i will do is that i will just select this vani and i'll just save the configuration so this configuration option have been saved and i'll just go to the drupal website and I'll just so this 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 uh, administration theme is something uh, same as per our previous one. So here I will just try to um, try to install the new administration theme. So just do let do it that admin theme for Drupal 10. So here I will just go to the one of the theme here and uh, this one I will just uh, install it so this is something it's it supports to all the Drupal works with 8 9 and 10 version as well I'll just click on it and I'll just copy this tar.gz link address I'll go back to my theme section, appearance, and uh, here we have add new theme. So earlier it was showing one button, but here it is something showing as a kind of link format. Just click on it, and here asking a URL. So just paste it and continue. So that uh, GIN theme was there, right? So that it will just install it. It will just download it here. So let's wait for a while. Till this get proceed. Yeah, so here that GIN theme is just being installed. Now just let's go back. Go to the appearance section. And here you can see that GIN theme is already been installed. Now, instead of changing the a whole GIN theme, what I will do, I will just change this admin theme part only. So, I will make it as a... First, I will just install this. I won't... Uh, if I just click on install and set as default, then the whole theme itself will just get caught. It just uh, get set as a default. So, instead of that, I have just installed that uh, GIN theme. And here in the administration theme part, I will just include it this and I will just save the configuration. So now here you can see the whole thing uh, that admin part is just got uh, changed here. Why? Because we have, uh, see this is appearance part setting and this is a Drupal. If I just go back. 
let's see how exactly this looking so this is the administration part so here we are getting the structure appearance extent configuration and all so the whole look and feel of this uh, uh, look and feel of this admin menu is got changed so earlier it was like this and now it's been changed to like this i will just reload it and here you can see this is something how exactly it's looking so like this we can just change it out as according to our need so here in 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 our video i'll just set it back by just going to the appearance I will just keep this as a Olivero part only. Let's see how it looks for this theme, that administration. So it's something same only as per the earlier. Yeah, this is bit nice. I'll just go back to my site and this is how it's looking for the for the particular theme which we have selected so right now here you can see the install theme and set it as default is this one vani theme so here vani theme is been just uh, set it as a default and this is looking like this so here in this video we have learned how to install a theme by just copying the link address from the drupal.org how to enable the install theme and how to disable the install the theme so here if we want to just uh, disable the theme then what we need to do is that we just need to go to the appearance part and right now this vani is being set it right so if i want to do this as a claro then i just need to click on this as set as a default then this is just get set it so the earlier theme it will just got disabled and the next we have seen how to set the only administration theme so instead of setting the whole theme to the whole site we can just change it for the uh, administration theme that only for this admin bar so that also we can just uh, we can just manage it from this drop down administration theme and the next we have seen the appearance setting so where we can change the logo uh, image or we can just keep as it is uh, from the drupal which it provides or else we can change the uh, fave icon also or we can just keep it as uh, keep it as it is as per the drupal site so that kind of all settings we can do it and uh, apart from that uh, uh, apart from the global settings we can do it in the theme level settings as well like um, based on the claro or the themes what and all we have that uh, according to on that uh, theme level setting also we can do it so this all things we have just covered in this video so that's it for this video in our next uh, video we will just saw about we will just see about the menu section like how to add a menu if you just forgot while creating the pages then in that scenario how to add a menu and how to uh, add a links so that everything we will be just seeing in our next video thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video then please uh, like share and subscribe